Okay, so here's a quick update on my cattle trailer uh, welding project. Uh, I took the air chisel right there just a few minutes ago and I went around all around up the sides right there to that where that piece stops there on that cross member and I started up there at the corner and I came all the way back down to the back and uh, I got off all the loose you know all that loose metal that was flaking up and so I got all that right there above the axles cleaned up real good and then also I cleaned up that side and you actually see it looks it actually looks a lot better than it did and so uh, then when I finished that I took the uh, the drill right there with the uh, wire brush attachment on it and I um, went around and uh, kind of brushed it all down with that you know and so my thinking is right here uh, I'll let y'all see it right here on this piece where the axles are welded on or the yeah well I mean the you know leaf springs so the axles are welded on right here uh, as you can see how much that piece is uh, rotted out right there uh, my thinking is maybe instead of having to cut out this whole the whole piece right there instead of having to cut it out to replace it with a whole new piece of angle iron that you can see I've got laying right there uh, I brought it this morning that's it right there in front of the trailer I'm gonna be using uh, instead of having to cut this piece out right here and then all the way back enough to there you know to fix the piece about both the axles uh, my thinking is and uh, in the comment section y'all can tell me what y'all think if any of you are you know or all of you that are experienced welders and stuff like that I'm open to suggestions but my thinking is uh, get off all the uh, that, that last bit of that stuff where it's flaking right there get all that off and everything where it's um, you know nice and level and smooth and uniform and then uh, cut out right there on the wall where it's all rotted off and then just get some uh, flat bar and then weld some flat bar in in between that cross that cross member and this cross member right here uh, weld some flat bar in right there to maybe you know re reinforce that piece and then you know maybe come up with something else for the wall for the wall along there or I mean or if not I could use the angle iron I've got which there which I think that's actually four inch angle iron that's what it looks like uh, and maybe just put a piece of that in on top of this and everything and then that'll you know maybe reinforce it but any of you that might come across this video that are you know experienced welders and stuff like that uh, Feel free to leave in the comment section what y'all would do and everything. And of course, everyone's got different ideas, you know, so if I don't follow maybe idea that y'all might suggest, well, you know, no offense, but, uh, but feel free to tell me because I am open to suggestions on this. But I am going to torch out where that piece is rusted out right there, torch that out, and then put in a whole new piece that runs from right, right there from that cross member all the way up to the front right there. So... I am going to replace all that and then right here since this piece isn't bad it's not rusted through anywhere I'm thinking maybe just get some flat bar to reinforce it maybe and then probably just cut out the section from from there to there cut that section out and replace that with some new angle iron so that's that's what I'm thinking but uh you know, feel free to tell me any other way you think y'all think would be best. Uh, I am open to suggestions, like I said. But uh, that's a that's just a little quick update on what I'm going to be doing with this. And so, and so I'll let you look at this one more time right here. See what you think. I was I managed to get the air chisel actually up underneath it and get out a lot of the trash that was that was flaked loose underneath it right there. And uh, that's left it. That's that's why you got that big that gap you can see right there. But uh, you can. My thinking is just cut the rest of that out right there, and then put maybe either some flat bar or maybe some angle iron on top of this, on top of the piece that already runs right there across that. Because see the the leaf springs are welded onto that piece, 
and the problem is I don't want to have to torch torch off those brackets for it and then re weld them back on because if you don't put them back on just right you know or you've got the axles just slightly out of line then trailer you know is gone ride crooked behind the truck and then you know your tires are gone wear you know wear uh, wear it uh, excuse me wear out quicker and uh you know just a whole bunch of trouble and everything that I really don't want to go through and so I'm thinking to save time and hassle and the risk of not lining the axles back up right just put flat bar or angle iron on top of there and uh this is a stick welder I'm going to be using and so you can also feel free to comment as to what you think would be the best rod to use uh, we, we've got some 6010 or it might be 6011 and then I know some 7018s back in the shop back there uh, so but y'all can comment and tell me as to what you think would be the best size rod to use whether it be 6010, 6011 you know or the, or the 6013 I think there is and then 7018 I mean Feel free to tell me any kind of tips or tricks y'all might have. I'm open to that. And so, so that's that's my plan. And uh, I did pull up the last few boards right there that came out of this section. And so, because I had to do that so I could one look at the floor and then two, air chisel out all this, all this other loose metal, you know. So I've got all that cleaned out and. So hopefully, hopefully here within the next few days, I can go ahead and start torching out that those the bad piece over there and start putting in the new. And uh, and yeah, that that's about it. That's my quick update. And uh, like I said many times already in this video, feel free to leave me any kind of tips or tricks you might have and then what kind of metal or what or what type of metal you think would be best for that section right there whether it be flat bar or angle iron on top of that and so any comments and in, in any comments and any help that y'all might have I would gladly appreciate and so so on that note uh, until next time you can comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll keep you updated.